really pleased to talk about our new studies with T regulatory cells because they provide hope for our patients and hope for a sustained quality of life. We've had two studies. The first study was a phase one, and that study showed great promise in stopping progression when patients' own Tregs were taken out of their bodies and put back into them so-called autologous Treg infusions. However, the effect didn't last beyond when we had infused the cells, and so we knew that the second study, despite the hope of the first, was to devise a way to freeze the cells, thaw them, and then infuse them on a monthly basis to avoid any progression of the disease. Well, we've accomplished most of what our goal was, and now we're just awaiting further infusions and finishing up the study. We're doing this in combination with our colleagues at Mass General at Harvard, and we're very excited that this approach may provide the game changer we've been looking for. Well, COVID-19 has done a bad number on all of us, but it's especially distressing for our ALS patients. And the reason is that ALS above all compromises breathing. COVID-19 attacks the lungs. And so it's a special challenge for us to avoid any respiratory difficulties that our patients have had. In addition, COVID-19 exaggerates the inflammatory response in people, and that's exactly what we're trying to suppress in ALS patients. So it's like one plus one equals five, but in this case, it's minus one plus minus one equals minus five. And we're really concerned about it and have to take extra precautions with our patients. What we've done to treat patients is several things. Number one, we had to change the way we run our big ALS clinic. It's not possible for us to have the patients in the waiting room to use that as a therapy session for them as well as for us. We had to have a patient in an individual room and stay there while all the team members visit. And that's changed the whole way we do business because we love the hugging, we love the upfront dealing with each other emotionally, and that's very difficult with respect to our ALS clinic. But in addition, we don't want the patients challenged to come to the hospital where there might be an increased risk for further inflammation, further infection. And so for many months, all we were doing were virtual visits by video. But the amazing thing by teleneurology, we're able to give patients not only what they need, but sustain the sense of hope that we're gonna lick this. We're not only gonna lick COVID-19, we're gonna lick ALS as well. I'm really thrilled to talk about OJ and Shanda. They are two amazing people. OJ was a star football player at Rice, went on to be a star football player in the Canadian Football League, won the Grey Cup, and then came to the Baltimore Ravens, where he indeed was another star, and in fact, helped them win the Super Bowl. So he's been an amazing person. We've been privileged to see them early on and to help them when they return to Houston frequently to provide the kind of quality care that I know they're getting in Baltimore and we can provide here in Houston. But what is most amazing is that OJ has many jobs these days, but his number one job is helping other ALS patients. He and Shonda have been incredible in setting up the foundation, 
in using the foundation to raise funds, and those funds are used for other ALS patients. They used in ways that are not readily available to most people. If you need a wheelchair or if you need additional help at home, the financial resources are often not there. And the Brigands Foundation has dedicated themselves to raising funds to helping patients with ALS. An amazing service. They are two amazing people and it's an honor and a privilege to be part of their mission. Well, the one thing that I want to add with respect to this is to reinforce the role that people like OJ and Shanda are carrying out. We all need help, but our ALS patients not only need additional support in terms of medical care, in terms of the right medications that can enhance their quality of life, but they also need the warm embrace, knowing that other people are there for them and can help them get through. No one does this better than OJ and Shanda, and no group does it better than their foundation.